Hey everyone and welcome back to Scandalous Media. It's Angela here and today we are doing a little throwback tea session on none other than Ariana Grande, Mac Miller, and Pete Davidson. If you want to know everything that happened between the three of them, you are in the right place. We've been talking about Ariana a lot ever since she's been in hot fire for allegedly cheating on her husband Dalton Gomez with Ethan Slater, and even worse, Ethan cheating on his wife Lily J with Ariana. That drama brought into question Ariana's long history of being the other woman or just cheating on her partners throughout the years. Something I first talked about in my blog in 2016, and something I even emphasized in one of my older videos expressing my concern about why Ariana can't stay single after she suddenly got engaged to Dalton Gomez. Make sure to check out those videos if you haven't already, because for this video, I'm gonna focus solely on the tragic love triangle that is Ariana Grande's relationship with Mac Miller and Pete Davidson, because a lot happened in just a mere six tragic months. Ariana and Mac Miller dated from August 2016 to May 2018. Pete and Ariana dated from May 2018 to October 2018. Pete and Ariana got engaged in June 2018. This story gets quite dark, so pay attention. Everyone thought that Mac and Ariana would be endgame. He was one of her longest relationships and was someone who seemed to be there for Ariana through it all. Their friendship first blossomed when they collaborated together in 2013 on Ariana's hit debut single, The Way. Ariana was always dating other people, so they didn't get together until August 2016, not that Ariana being in a relationship would have stopped her. Before they broke up in May 2018, things were looking good. Fans even had a theory that Ariana was pregnant and Mac was going to propose. No one thought they were going to break up and their PR teams were pushing the story that they're on a brink of an engagement. So when they did announce their breakup, fans were heartbroken and more so shocked and confused because no one saw it coming. Now there is some tea to the pregnancy story so I'll link my scandalous article in the description box if you want to check it out. As soon as Mac and Ariana broke up, Pete and Ariana started dating that same month, May 2018. This is one year after the heartbreaking Manchester bombing that occurred in May 2017 during Ariana's concert. So as one would expect, Ariana was definitely going through it and she was not okay for a very long time. And when she started dating Pete, people were confused as to why Pete out of all people. Keep in mind that Pete wasn't even that famous back in the day like he is now, known for getting all the hottest women in the industry. We like to joke that Ariana put Pete on the map, but at the time, everyone looked at him as a weird loser back in the day, and Ariana's fans were bullying his looks to the point where Ariana would constantly step in to defend him. Nowadays, we see Pete as that cool funny guy. But at the time, everyone was like, wow, Ariana has surely an interesting choice in men, as we can see in real time with the Ethan Slater drama. Anyway, many sources told me that her dating Pete was like a fresh breath of air. He was funny, weird, but in a good way, and he was a refreshing break from the music industry. As you guys know, he is a comedian on SNL. Ariana needed something different, and Mac had struggled a lot with addiction, so she needed someone to make her feel like she was on a cloud and take her away from the trauma she endured. She ended up confirming this in an interview and saying almost word for word what I said. Keep in mind that there are a lot of rumors about Ariana having an addiction and that was also the high that kept Pete and Ariana together, but like I said, that's just a rumor and I'm not going to discuss it in this video. But still, Ariana moved on so soon from Mac, someone who was her best friend and she was not nice about it. Before Mac's death, Ariana was actually quite shady and mean about him online, as I'll get to. Theory goes that Ariana cheated on Mac with Pete since their relationship started the second she and Mac broke up. I mean, dating in the same month of the breakup kinda gives it away. Ariana was quick to shut these rumors down following her breakup with Matt, and before Mac's death, Ariana was shady toward him on social media. And then she felt immense guilt after he passed because he struggled with addiction and died from an accidental overdose. Following Ariana's quick engagement to Pete Davidson and the release of a song named after him, one Instagram user wrote, Pete Davidson will be the song I skip all the time. To which Ariana replied back saying, Aw, boo fucking who, Alexa played Pete Davidson. 
Then the person on Instagram wrote, Ari cheated on Mac. And Ariana replied, I didn't, but go off. Can you like go stand someone else? You're boring. Yeah, I do feel a little guilty. Now, if you guys want the tea, go check out my scandalous blog post that I wrote about Ariana in my Ariana as a Person series back in 2020. I'll link it in the description box. Now, as you guys know from my previous video talking about how Ariana is usually the other woman in relationships and how she allegedly cheated on all her partners, we also talked about Pete's girlfriend at the time saying that, you know, she and Pete were going to get back together, but he had already moved on with Ariana and that she found out they're together on Instagram while her and Pete were kind of on a break. So people suspect that Pete cheated on Kazi with Ariana. So go check out that video. Now here's what's interesting about Ariana and Mac. Ariana claims that she broke up with Mac because their relationship turned toxic and how his issues were affecting her and how you can't mother someone and be responsible for their issues. Damn. <laughs> Following Ariana moving on quite fast, Mac seemed to be really affected by that as he got arrested for a DUI in August 2018. Fans blamed Ariana for being the reason Mac is medicating himself more as she's prancing around Hollywood with Pete, to which she clapped back and said, How absurd that you minimize female self-respect and self-worth by saying someone should stay in a toxic relationship because he wrote an album about them, which by the way isn't the case, just Cinderella's about me. I am not a babysitter or a mother and no woman should feel that they need to be. I have cared for him and tried to support his sobriety and prayed for his balance for years and always will of course, but shaming and blaming women for a man's inability to keep his shit together is a very major problem. Yikes. About the news of Ariana quickly moving on with Pete and getting engaged, Max said in an interview that he was happy for her. On the other hand, Max's ex-girlfriend claims that Mac broke up with Ariana, which isn't something many people believe, considering how Max seemed torn up after the breakup and then he ended up accidentally overdosing and ultimately passing away. May he rest in peace. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that Ariana had a role in how things ended for Mac? Because it's not that they broke up, it's that she quickly got engaged to someone less than a month after their breakup and then gave a I don't give a shit about you attitude in the months that followed. That's why people blamed his death on her, which again is a lot to put on a person and isn't fair. But Ariana was cruel, not only in public, but behind closed doors as sources would say. And when Pete seemed to almost have the same fate as Mac, she was in shambles online, as I'll get to. Three weeks after Mac passed away, Ariana and Pete called off their engagement. At the time, it was well known that Pete was struggling mentally and was pretty unstable. Ariana was her usual shady self, the same shade we saw after her breakup with Mac. On November 1st, 2018, like a week after the breakup, she throws some shade toward Pete right after SNL posted their promo for the show, tweeting, For someone who claims to hate relevancy, you sure love clinging to it, huh? And then, thank you, next. Mind you, all Pete said in the promo was, Hey Maggie, I'm Pete, before adding, Want to get married? Which seemed like he was making fun of himself. Also, it's show business, Ariana. She then deleted her tweet, but then she officially released her hit single, Thank You Next, two days later on November 3rd, just minutes before SNL aired. And we know that the song mentions Pete, Ricky, and Mac by name. So it seems like she loved the relevancy too, but it gets messy fast, once again. Many people and insiders told me that Pete wouldn't handle the breakup lightly, especially since Ariana is someone who relationship hops all the time. You know, he seemed like he really cared about her and Pete was kind of the man of the hour for Ariana. Ariana was also criticized by my sources as someone who just used and discarded people whenever she felt like it, which we can kind of tell from her timeline. In December 2018, two months after Ariana and Pete's breakup, Pete posted on Instagram an alarming message saying, I really don't want to be on this earth anymore. I'm doing my best to stay here for you, but I actually don't know how much longer I can take. This came during the time Kanye West was going off on Twitter about Drake and talking about how no one cares for his mental health. Ariana then came at Kanye tweeting, Guys, I know there are grown men arguing online right now, but Miley and I are dropping beautiful new songs tonight. So if y'all could please just behave for like a few hours so the girls can shine, that'd be so sick. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ariana's fake girls can shine moment is so funny and it makes more sense as to why Lily J, Ethan Slater's wife, slams Ariana and said she's really not a girl's girl because that is the image that Ariana would try to portray. But anyways, she also tweeted, last thing, stop weaponizing mental health, everyone. Kanye then responded saying that he's sure Ariana meant well, I don't think she did, but okay. But he also said, people will no longer take mental health for a joke before going on and talking about the issue with Drake. Then, Pete deleted his Instagram account after he responded to Kanye West going after Ariana Grande by praising Kanye for speaking about mental health issues. Pete said, I can't explain to you enough how difficult and scary it is to be honest about stuff like this. Ariana then apologized and said it was a dumb joke. Just two weeks before that, Pete went off on online trolls for harassing and bullying him, and Ariana responded not long afterward, telling her fans to be gentler with Pete and others, saying she cares deeply about him and his mental health. During the Kanye and Pete interaction, Ariana then pulled an emotional girl from Mean Girls who just wants to bake cookies. Wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat be happy. She doesn't even go here! And said, I really didn't mean any harm. All I want is for everyone to be healthy and happy so desperately. Please, my god. This is interesting considering she was just shading Pete and Kanye and accused them of weaponizing mental health. Also, I just realized how funny it is that Kanye and Pete were on one side considering Kanye was going at Pete and basically harassing him online during the Kim Kardashian drama. Ah, my brain is fried from all these celebrities. But in all fairness, Pete didn't do anything wrong in the Kim and Kanye situation. But I digress. After Pete posted that cryptic and worrying post on Instagram, everyone was in shambles and desperately worried for his health. Friends were trying to locate him, Machine Gun Kelly was hopping on a plane to go find him, and it's safe to say that Ariana was also in shambles online because she reacted in a way that made her seem like she felt guilty about what was happening with Pete. And the guilt was really coming after Ariana because she tweeted, I'm downstairs and I'm not going anywhere if you need anyone or anything, I know you have everyone you need and that's not me, but I'm here too. Downstairs where? She was at the studio where they filmed SNL. Also, she's offering sympathy but also playing victim by saying, and I know that's not me, but like, I'm here too. Like, you didn't have to say all that. And people were like, why don't you just text him instead of literally mentioning him on Twitter to millions? Because at the time, it seemed to everyone like Ariana was an attention seeker desperate to cover her own tracks. Ariana clapped back and said, no, I couldn't because I don't have his number. What else? How else would we like to vilify me today? Please keep going because I haven't had enough guilt at all. Guess she confirmed that she is guilty. <laughs> Looking back at how Ariana was on Twitter 24 seven and would reply back to literally everyone at every claim, it makes sense as to why she deleted Twitter like two years ago and never looked back. Pete's friend and actor John Cryer went on Twitter and said that he heard Pete was at the SNL studio in New York City and accounted for after he tweeted earlier that he couldn't get a hold of him following Pete's cryptic message. A public information officer with the New York Police Department also told TMZ that they sent officers to do a welfare check on Pete. The New York Times reported that the police said a rep for NBC told the NYPD that Pete was at work and doing fine. Thankfully, Pete turned out to be okay. In the years that followed, Pete was vocal about his mental health issues being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, PTSD, using drugs to medicate the pain, and as of recently, entered rehab in June 2023. Ariana also opened up about how she had a drinking problem in December 2018, saying that she's 60% champagne. She also revealed in 2019 that she doesn't remember the time after Mac's death because she was drunk all the time and was so sad. Pete later revealed that he knew his engagement with Ariana would be over the second Mac died because she loved the shit out of him. He said, I was like, listen, I get it, do whatever you gotta do, I'll be here until you don't want me to be here. I pretty much knew it was around over after that. That was really horrible and I can't imagine what that shit is like. All I do know is that she really loved the shit out of him and she wasn't putting on a show or anything. That was fucked up. Prayers to his family and all of his friends. Earlier this year in April, when Ariana's appearance caused fans to worry, she said that she was fine and that people shouldn't talk about other people's appearance and told fans that the before photos that they're comparing of her now were of a time when she was drinking a lot and on a lot of antidepressants. She also seemed to hint that you don't know what people are going through and fans brought that video up after the news of her divorce with Dalton broke. The thing about Ariana is that she seems like she had a lot done to her face and you don't need to be a professional to see that. I'm talking about completely new features. And the fans who will try to tell you that she looks the same and whatnot are in denial. 
She really does it and I've been told some interesting tea about her appearance, but I'll expose that on my blog. To finalize this video, I personally believe that Mac was struggling a lot after the breakup, obviously, and Ariana does this cruel thing where she relationship hops and then will be shady in public, and then she backpedals when she gets real. Her being nonchalant and parading around Pete had to have been hard for Mac, and not everyone can handle that. I'm not blaming his death on her at all, I'm saying that it must have been hard for Mac, along with his long list of issues away from Ariana, but as she later revealed, she also had issues with drugs. She just claims that it was only after Mac passed away. I also believe that she felt really guilty about how she treated Mac after their breakup, that the thought of someone else losing their life while she was just with them was too much to bear, hence why she was ready to clock in and be there for Pete after their breakup. And I will say that the time difference between her breakup with Pete and her next relationship with Mikey Foster is the longest time Ariana stayed single. About a month and a half. Go check out that video where I talk about Ariana's messy relationship timeline. I'm not sure if Ariana learned her lesson or has gotten better at not discarding people, considering she is again in real time, in some sh** with a married couple, but time will tell us all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you enjoying our Ariana content? Let me know. Be sure to follow us on social media, let me know what else you want to see, turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss the live chat, like and subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you next time.